Hi, I'm Layla Sane, creator of Captive Thought Therapy and inner healing practitioner with Shayla Ma. Captive Thought Therapy combines the best of EFT and TFT tapping with inner healing prayer to engage your body, mind, and spirit in the healing process. Today I'm going to show you a captive thought therapy exercise for anxiety. You can find the printable version of this on my website, shaylamon.com, as well as 20 more emotional exercises that you can guide yourself through. So each printable looks like this. You've got the algorithm that you're going to be tapping through here at the top and then guided exercises to go through it three times. There's also the tapping points here that you'll be using. So for the anxiety algorithm, our points are eyebrow, under the eye, under the arm, collarbone, and then on the back of your right hand in that groove between pinky and ring finger, you're gonna keep tapping there and that 20 in the algorithm means you're gonna do 20 sets of bilateral brain stimulation. So what this can look like is you can either tap your feet back and forth, if you're doing it while you're walking around, walking around gets that bilateral brain stimulation. If I was working with you as a client in person, we'd be doing fingers back and forth for you to follow with your eyes. You can also, uh, if you're in a room where you can see the two corners of the room, you can move your eyes back and forth yourself as you do it. Um, whatever way you decide to engage that bilateral brain stimulation, you're going to want to do it for 20 sets. Um, EMDR music is another thing you can do with the headphones. Just put that on and listen to it um, for about 30 seconds at least. But when you do that, you're going to do the 20 sets while you tap on the back of your hand. And at the end, you're going to tap on the side of your hand. So let's go through the first time. So the first time through, you're going to be actually thinking about the anxiety that you're feeling, thinking about situations in which you feel anxious, anything that comes to mind around anxiety and situations where you feel anxiety. So as you think about that, we're going to tap on eyebrow, eye, under the arm, collarbone, and then keep tapping on this back of hand point. And if you want to follow along with the video, you can follow my fingers back and forth. tap the side. As you're thinking, as you're tapping too, this isn't like meditation where you want to push things out if other things come to mind. This process where we're moving the eyes back and forth, getting the bilateral brain stimulation, it mimics the rapid eye movement that we have when we sleep that's actually part of our brain's integrating memory. So if something kind of off the wall comes to mind as you're tapping, that's fine, let it come. Um, try to figure out maybe if it has something to do with the anxiety that you're feeling, if it's somehow related. Um, Holy Spirit also brings things to mind too because he's trying to show us how they're connected to something. So as you tap, if weird things come to mind, let them come and just ask Holy Spirit to ask you how they should fit together with what you're tapping on. So the second time through, instead of focusing on the anxiety, we're going to focus on peace, we're going to focus on um, just anything that comes to mind with just feeling at ease and feeling the opposite of anxiety, feeling at rest, feeling secure, um, peace for sure is a big one. Um, so as we tap, it's going to be the same tapping, but this time you're focusing on peace and on the opposite of anxiety. So again, we're going to do eyebrow, eye, under the arm, Collarbone. In that back of hand spot, keep tapping and follow my fingers. And 
then tap the side of the hand again. This third time through, we're gonna focus on scripture that has to do with the emotion that we're working on clearing out. So the verse that I've chosen for anxiety is Philippians 4, six through seven. And it says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So with a longer verse like this, you're not going to really be able to repeat the whole verse to yourself while you tap. So it's good to read the whole verse and then come up with a reminder phrase that you can repeat to yourself as you tap. So with this verse, it might be, be anxious for nothing, or it might be, the peace of God will guard my heart. Um, whichever line of the verse that really sticks out to you is a reminder of remembering the verse as you tap. So I'm going to use be anxious for nothing as we tap, and we're just gonna keep repeating that while we tap through the algorithm. So eyebrow, be anxious for nothing. Eye, be anxious for nothing. Under the arm, be anxious for nothing. Collarbone, be anxious for nothing. And then that back of hand, keep tapping while you follow my fingers. Be anxious for nothing. 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 And then tap the side of the hand. You can go back through the exercise with any point. Um, you can do it clearing out the negative again. You can do it downloading the good. You can do it with the verse that I have listed here or if there's another verse that comes to mind for you more with anxiety um, or with peace, you can tap on it either way. It's really great to do these exercises in moment. So if you find yourself in a place of a lot of anxiety experiencing that, go ahead and do the tapping. Uh, if you just kind of live under anxiety and anxious thoughts or something that are just familiar to you, doing this tapping at least once a day is a really great way to start moving that emotion on and downloading the piece instead. So like I said, on the website, you can get the printable version of this. It has each of those three ways to go through it with the tapping points and the algorithm here at the top. There's also 20 more emotions that you can get and download, as well as exercises to tap through forgiveness and really connecting those head to heart truths where there's a